The Houston's On Our Own is the title of a new reality show that captures the different ways Whitney Houston's family is dealing with the tragic death, which was only eight months ago. And on the premiere episode, because you've got to have tension in a reality show, Whitney's daughter and the young man that some call Whitney's adopted son, but they say he wasn't, dropped a bombshell on the family. Take a look. Did you see Mommy's album? It's, a, it's also, um, it's, a, it's also in a... Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, say that again? In yeah. English? Really? Ring game. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Ring? Uh, well, I tell you, reality shows have to have some tension. We're going to get to that right now. Please welcome Whitney's sister in law and manager, Pat. It's nice to see you again. Whitney's wonderful mother. I'm so happy to have, to have you here as this in Houston. And this beautiful child is. Not Bobby Christina, but a cousin, oh, yeah. right? Your your daughter. Yes. Lovely. Okay, so let's get to it right away because this the young man whom some say Whitney adopted, but she really didn't adopt him. But he's been with the family since he was what twelve? No, actually, oh. he's been around since he was about sixteen and a half, going on seventeen. <laughs> okay. Yes, I yeah. So you do not want them to be en engaged, and sissy, you don't want them to be engaged, right? No. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's grandma, and she knows best. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen? It's a friendship. They started out as friends. Are you going to be able to break this up? Uh, I didn't have to. It can kind of, you know, sometimes, you know, they're young. She's 19 years old. He's 23 years old. Well, it seems like, you know, watching the show, um, this is the first time I'm seeing Nick. He seems like a nice young man. He seems like, because I know uh, Bobby Christina kept referring to the, both of them as the two musketeers because they she's live... She's only 19. Uh, she's not... Well, a lot of people are, are get married young, but I'm just saying uh, you, you and your husband, Gary, are not... You're not happy about that. No, not at all. You know, how much can you... Being engaged at 19 years old, she's still a teen. You know, at 19, she's still a child. You know, it's... Um, how old is this child? She's 14. What Ray do you 14. think about this? Are you for it or against it? Um, I mean, they're my family, so whatever makes them happy. I'm 14, so I don't really know anything. <laughs> I'm so speaking as a 14-year-old. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask a broader question, though. You, you began filming the show just three months after Whitney's death. And I know it's important uh, in terms of, of making some money, but would Bobby Christina not have been better off if you didn't do a reality show? If you didn't show her visiting her mother's grave with cameras on her, if you just let her grow up to have a life without the kind of attention that may be contributed in a way, perhaps, to her own mother's death. Well, the show technically isn't just about Bobby Christina. The Houstons consist of her mother, her two brothers, and myself, the family. <coughs> and when we w went to New Jersey to the gravesite, it w wasn't about just going to the gravesite. We went up for the gospel fest. Now, but I'm talking about what Bobby Christina, whom you care about, mm -hmm. And who is in some, sometimes a little danger, maybe drinks a little too much, you were afraid of. Would she not have been better off if you were not having her in a reality series? A reality series or not. The, the child has been, cameras have been following her since she was born. You know, it's not an exploitation of any kind. You know, the family's together. They're not, she's not isolated by any means. And it's actually a continuation of a project that we were already working on. The name just changed. And Bobby Christina, and I'm not talking about a reality show, the Being Bobby Brown reality show. I'm talking about a reality show that was filmed two years ago called Power Brokers, which consists of five women in Atlanta, you know, about their successes in their life. I was one of those women. Bobby Christina was on that show, so was my daughter. Yeah, but this is now the family. This is grandma, this is your daughter, this is the family. Right. And it does center a great deal on, on Bobby Christina. Well, it, it actually, it centers on all of us. You're just catching some segments of Bobby Christina. I saw you, was, we were sent the first two episodes. Yeah. Well, you know, um, Mr. C, how, you know, now the. You are so absolutely beautiful. The camera does not do you justice on how beautiful you are. But the cameras are now following you around everywhere. And yeah. your private life is now our life. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Not very good. <laughs> there were times it looked like when I was watching it, I said, I don't know if Miss Sissy is happy about... You're I, absolutely I, you... right.
are back with the Houston family. We have Pat Houston, who is Whitney's sister-in-law and manager. We have Miss Sissy Houston, her mother, and Rhea, who is Pat's daughter and Whitney's niece. Now, watching the show, Pat, um, I know you said that Whitney would let Bobby Christina have the occasional uh, glass of wine. And watching the show, she was doing a lot of drinking on the show. So um, do you think that Bobby Christina has a drinking problem? Let me just say this. There's no hard liquor involved relative to Chrissy. It could very well be, but there isn't. So she's 19. Yeah, she's 19, old. not a drinking age. I absolutely just prohibit it. I do not like it. You but know. you were worried, and when we watched it, you were concerned. More concerned about her losing her mother and not want, I know she's, she's surrounded by us, so therefore we, we have her. No, but in the, in the part that I saw, both you and Sissy, were a little concerned that she was drinking too. Getting to that, she's, <laughs> she's, we're concerned about her well-being. Period. The drinking there at, I believe, we're at the, it was at the Newark Club. The drinking there was mixed with, uh, it was a mimosa, and of course, you know, she, it's that was her reality, being able to have some wine. It was that was allowed for her. Yeah. But, but we, Pat, forgive me, we, I'm not accusing. This was in the in the I, tape I, you I, gave you I, gave I, me. In it, you said you were concerned. Of course. Okay. You of know, course. It, it, wait, does, does Bobby Christina live with you and your she husband, Gary? Not. She does not live with you. No. Okay. And, Miss Sissy, how do you feel about Bobby Christina and her drinking? Do you think that she might possibly go down the same path as her mother? Do you have that concern? Mm, uh, well, I guess she could if she keeps doing what she's doing, if she's drinking. Because her father Heavy. also has had uh, well, a yeah, problems it's all... as well. All in her path, so I hope not. And I'm in New Jersey, and she's in California, so I don't really have a little enough time. And she's got to do it. Oh, Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. California, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At well, this she, stage of the game, not there. Does she have supervision? Yeah. Is she with somebody? She has. She she has to, and it's not a situation. She's not in trouble as it re relates no, to drinking. Not. We're not concerned. I had concern seeing her sitting there watching her. I don't like it at all. But there's this is this was her reality even before her mother passed. I don't like it, but we're working on it, and she's growing. The girl is growing. She's you, you, we're seeing her more. <laughs> she we're dealing with life management skills as it relates to Bobby Christina. There's and, a lot of positive. Well, I'm giving you credit because this is not a, you're doing a reality series and it's very rare, unreal. I mean, you left in the fact that you were concerned. The kinds of things that, that we're not accusing you of. This is what we saw in the tape. But I, I'd like to ask a little bit more because you're also worried about uh, something like 20 million dollars that may. Uh, go to Bobby Christina and when she should get it and so forth. But at the time of her death, several of her closest advisors said that she was broke. Closest, closest who? Advisors. Advisors, wow. <laughs> yeah. Said that it, it was reported that she had no money. So has this 20 million happened with the sale of records and music afterwards? First of or all, is there's it... no 20 million. Not true. That's, the, that's a total okay. misconception there, okay? She did not die broke, and that's all I will say. But there is no 20 million, and she's not, she wasn't broke when she passed. So somewhere Absolutely. between the two is the truth. No. In the first place, can I say this? When you got a teenager who's 19 years old, who loses her mother and really don't feel like she really has to listen, do you know how that is? You've got teenagers, I'm sure you've worked with them and all that. But you can't make anybody do anything. You try to suggest and you try to guide her and all of that kind of business. But that's exactly what we're trying to do. Trying to guide her into a life that's going to make her better than it. We just have to say, because we sound a little, maybe a little harsh, that we think what you've all, this whole family has gone through, it, it even makes me cry, It's just been so horrendous. So whatever you feel is the best to do, we're with you, okay? And That's what we're trying to do. Very special, What's special for? woman, sissy, and I know I'm how much just you not care. There are a lot of times where I might make a bigger difference, maybe, right. but I've never been around her that much because she was always on the road with her mom.